I don't know how this is going to go. Obviously, I don't want to set a light to. All right, people, I'm going to fit my electric shower here today. I am not a plumber. I don't have a trade. I'm just going to have a go. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it, though. I bought myself a Mirror Sport. It's a multi-fit electric shower. It fits over more electric showers than any other on the market, apparently. Bit of a problem for me, because I had to plan this out from scratch. Fair enough, if you're fitting it over another shower, it might work out a little bit easier. Now you can have your water coming in this side, there, this turns round, or you can have it this side, there, and this turns round as well. Electric can go in here as well as the other side, so you can swap everything out. They lean you towards this part here because that's the part that's not plugged up, whereas all of the rest is. Now this thread here, that is basically a tap connector. Future Aiden here. Just to clarify, that is a half inch thread. And as it says here, left inlet connector, use the compression nut and olive supplied. But let's just go with it. Initially I bought this. This is a tap connector at this end and a compression fit in there. And that's what I was gonna use, but I've got this one as well, just as a backup. This is a push fit and a tap connector there. So the tap connector is gonna screw onto there. See that bit there, that sticks out quite far back from the body of the actual unit. Now I built this whole structure, including the stud wall, everything, tiled it, done everything. So I've done it like this, and I've left a bit of pipe sticking out. Just by chance, it's got a bit of movement on it. Now that movement, hopefully it's gonna help me complete this task, but I'm not sure it will. We go through this one, tap connector, push fit, with using this side, because that's how I've lined it up. That bit there is hanging out about 20 mil. So that needs to go 20 mil into the wall. It doesn't make sense to me, logically, that you can have a massive gaping hole in the wall. How do people normally do it? I've looked at YouTube videos and it looks like you do have a gaping hole in the wall. That just makes no sense to me. Do you, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I've done it like this. I'm not digging out that. So my next option would be this one. So tap connector there, and that is a solder ring. So this is gonna hang about 12 mil out the back. This tile here is about nine mil, then with the adhesive, basically 12 mil. So I need to get it all the way back to there. So I need to solder this in here without setting fire to anything or just going wrong. Hopefully this is gonna work out. Now, maybe I could have put it on before, but I didn't know I was going to have to get this. I thought the other one would be all right. The design of this is good because you can go multi places, but why couldn't you just move this part in front of that bit and then all of this will move that way? That would be like 10 times better, wouldn't it? Oh, fuck. How am I meant to do this? Just spins around. Uh... <laughs> this copper pipe goes into a push fit fitting back there. And that's the reason why there's a little bit of flex in it because the pipe is uh, poly pipe behind. But obviously I need to cut this and that's just spinning. Brilliant. <gasps> yeah. So that will work. So it's still got the movement on it there. Challenge is obviously I need this out as far as possible so I can solder this. Has anyone ever done a solder ring and it hasn't worked? <laughs> like how am I meant to see the solder come out the other side? I suppose the good thing about this is that pipe will twist so I don't have to get it, it bang on vertical. But... This is my blowtorch, Rothberg gas, that one. This one's good because you can do it upside down, all the angles. There's another one, there's another type you can't do that. So make sure if you're gonna get one, you get this. <sighs> now I need to do this without setting fire to anything. Behind this, obviously I've got the tank in, I've got the concrete board. Then I've got my PIR. Now if PIR, it goes up like a good one, doesn't it? I don't know how this is gonna go. Obviously I don't wanna set a light to, do you think it'll be all right? Jesus. Uh, 
I just see the solder just come out. Hopefully that. It's sealed all the way around. <laughs> I've burnt the wire a bit here. Oh, that's lucky. It's just the sleeving. So I'm thinking now, instead of putting it all on, maybe I can get a valve and whack it on there and test it if I've got the right stuff. Let's go and have a look. There you go, that'll work. Radiator valve. Just turn the water on. Nothing's happening so far. Can I do this? All right, ready? Looks like it's holding under pressure. I'm gonna go for a quick walk with Arthur, uh, leave it for about an hour, see if there's any water anywhere. Thing is, I've not checked any of this pipe work in the walls, so if there is a leak, we're gonna be in trouble. Success. That didn't leak. I'm gonna put a little bit of silicon around there so we're double protected. I don't want any water going down behind this. For the holes, they do give you this cut out. That's how I lined up them, the wiring and the actual pipe hole. But the fixing holes are on there as well. I'm not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna use this. He's a marksman. Pot screw fits, grab these ones. That's what I'm drilling through my tile. Lucky enough, screw fix just opened down the road. Five minutes away. That happened to my last place that I was doing as well. That was absolute touch. Them drill bits, they're good for like not tracking, but they take ages to get through. So if anyone knows any good drill bits to get through tiles, put them in the comments below. I'd like to know. I'm sure obviously I've done this loads before, but I can't remember what I used. I'm gonna try these Fisher raw plugs. Hopefully they'll be all right. Or not. That's not good, is it? You're supposed to be able to drill it six mil. Maybe I'll go a little bit wider to get it in. But not the greatest for tiles. What I've had to do is I had to drill it a little bit wider at the front on the eight mil. I'll put a screw in a tiny bit and just tap it back. At the last bit. That's not the kind of thing you want to be doing on tiles though. Just a side note, these tap connectors, be careful. So you see here, you get these little washers. Now, I had a rubber one on this one, a rubber one on that one, and then the solder ring one that I've used is a plastic one, which I don't think is very good. So I'm gonna be using one of the rubber ones. Because it's got the rubber washer in, it's just literally hand tight. That's all you need. There you go. I need to strip these wires down now. Blue for live. Only joking. <laughs> right, the shower, I don't know if you can see that, it's 9.8 kilowatts. So that means that I had to go for a 10 um, millimeter wire, which is fat, and then you need a 40 amp breaker. So don't go, you don't really want to go any more than 10 kilowatts, otherwise you need like 50, amp breaker I think and you need even bigger wire this is like hard to manage as it is and I haven't got the right size cutters now we just need to put all the covers on uh, I think it's relatively straightforward Always read the instructions, obviously. Always read the instructions. Tap connector. Mm. Oh. Oh. Shit, that goes after. <laughs> we are there. Now I don't want to put my uh, bar in, you know the riser bar because I want to put my shower screen in first and then I need a support bar, which I'm going to go diagonally 
and try and get it here, figure out where to put the riser from there. So I've turned the power on. We'll get to see if it works and if I'm going to electrocute myself or not. Ready? Remember not to lose these little rubber washers from here. It's still leaking from that. <laughs> what? What do you reckon? Should I go LSX or get some PTFE around it? I'll wrap PTFE around it. It works. Okay. So, that's fine. Is that how much? Shut up. So that's supposed to be on hot now and it's not. It's not working. Oh, hang on. There you go. It's hot. That had me really worried then. I didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> Right, it's fine. I've run through the commissioning procedure. Uh, you basically turn it to the different settings, run through it for like 15 seconds. I didn't quite do 15 seconds. It's got four different um, spray patterns. Are you interested in having a look? I like the look at that one. It's that rainfall. That one looks quite good. And then there's that one. I'm interested in that. That setting that I like is called the storm setting. I'm desperate for a shower now, but I need to whack in this shower screen. Jobs are good in then. I haven't got any pipes around the outside. I haven't got any wires. It's all come through the back. I haven't got a massive hole in the wall. It was quite tricky, but I got there in the end. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.